Okay, once again today, Yale, there are brand new outrageous reports speculating about why Brooke is actually in rehab. We know she went for treatment soon after Charlie's arrest for allegedly attacking her. Yale, first question, given these wild reports today, can you set the record straight for us? Why is Brooke Muller in rehab? Brooke is in rehab because she wants to be the best mother she could be. And she obviously has a history of abuse with alcohol. She's over that. She's on the road to recovery. She's been on the road to recovery. But this girl has been through such trauma since December 25th. She's got the December 25th incident. Then she almost lost her life because of a tooth infection. Uh, Mm -hmm. She has to deal with all these various media reports. And she wanted to go in and get um, her health in order and make sure that she could be absolutely the best person she could be and be the best mother that she could be. Well, well, what do you think about those reports where there are headlines that say she's checked in due to drugs and due to other things? How do you react, Yale, or are you just resigned to them? Well, listen, it's it's very difficult um, when somebody wants to get help and wants to become a better person, and they've got to fight the tabloids. And the advice I give my clients who do that is to ignore the tabloids really doesn't matter. I mean, the, the main focus is that there's help out there. You're getting it. You're being the best person yeah. you could be. She's got a responsibility to her children, and that's her main focus right now, and that's what she's and, and speaking, on. Yeah, and speaking of getting help, since Charlie Sheen checked into rehab on Tuesday, there have been reports that Charlie did this, not because he necessarily has a problem right now, but as part of a support program for Brooke. Yale, tell us what you know about that. Well, I, first of all, I can't speak on behalf of Charlie because I don't represent Charlie. I will tell you that Brooke is absolutely committed to her sobriety. She's committed to regaining all of her health needs. And um, I think that if Charlie is seeking out that same type of help, kudos to him. And I think that's great. Did you know he was going to check into rehab or were you as surprised as so many of us were, given the fact that he is about to be arraigned on a felony charge for allegedly attacking Brooke, who's your client? Okay, you you know, one thing that I can't discuss is is obviously what I discuss with my clients, uh, but I do represent his wife um, and I just really can't comment on what I knew or what I didn't know. But I will tell you this, that I think it's a good move and I wish Charlie the best. Fair enough. Well, just before Charlie went into rehab, the news broke that Brooke left a facility called the Canyon in Malibu, and you say it was because they leaked private information. You told us, quote, I'm going to make them pay like you can't believe for screwing over my client. Yell, how was your client screwed over? Listen, I think that anybody who checks into this Canyon rehab facility in Malibu has to have their head examined. For them to allow a private medical record to be released and peddled to various media outlets for sale is just absolutely unconscionable to me. I cannot yeah, of- even imagine someone who goes to a treatment center for help and then one of the employees at the treatment center actually takes the documents. These private, it is abhorrent if that is true. It is abhorrent if it is true. And I want to note that the Canyon in Malibu, Malibu did not immediately return CNN's calls for comments. Very quickly, we've only got a short little bit of time here left, Yell, but um, what's going on with their twins? They're nearly one-year-old boys. Who's caring for them? Oh, I will tell you, Max and Bob are doing phenomenally well. They're, they're being cared for by all the nannies. Brooke sees them often. Charlie still gets to see them. You know, they have two wonderful sets of grandparents. These kids are just doing unbelievably well.